I think people are getting dumber. Someone said that to me the other day, and I've been thinking about it. Or trying to, anyway, because I know, personally, that I am getting dumber every day. The brain cells are dying, the memory's fading. Some days, everything's just a blur. So it's hard to think about, about anything, productively. It seems obvious, though, that people are getting dumber. Look around you. Live your day. It's hard not to conclude that people are getting dumber. But then you look at the record. You look at history. History is an unrelenting chronicle of unbridled stupidity. It's almost as if the people of the past knew we were coming and they said, oh yeah? Well, top this. So the question is not as simple as it may first appear. I mean, okay, you look at the past and you had people living in towns situated at the base of an active volcano. But today we've got people living in cities and building nuclear power plants on known geographic fault lines. And people living in cities on the coast of great oceans and the city is below sea level. So the game of past and present, you see, is very challenging. And we quickly realize that when it comes to stupidity, no matter what time you choose, there is no shortage of candidates. An index of just how dumb people are, we might as well take a look at their leaders. Again, you look at the past, at any people, of any time, and you have to conclude that we're making progress. We would never allow ourselves to be led by a cast of fools and charlatans like that, bona fide nuts. But then you study the present, you run down the roster of our current leaders, the people we the people have chosen to lead us, and the conclusion is inescapable. We really are getting dumber. The way we live, the choices we make, the individuals we elevate, we are getting dumber. It's evolution, all right, with a twist. Survival of the dumbest. And it seems to be happening at a rapidly escalating pace. If it's so, what could account for it? I can think of two things. The first is television. Watching TV makes us dumber. Is anyone going to argue that point? If you do, I think you've been watching too much TV. I don't know if there are any studies that prove this, but just look at what's on TV, any channel, any time. It's the mental equivalent of baby food. The shows, the commercials, all of it says to the viewer, hey you, you're stupid. I know there are some people, the conspiracy types, who think there's a hidden signal in all television shows that somehow affects our brains and makes us more stupid. Well, that could be true, I don't hold with it. I don't think the signal is hidden. I think it's right out there for all to see and hear. Television is a never-ending, multi-channeled fountain of stupidity. It's an electronic oracle of dumb. I am a member of the TV generation, the first ever to grow up watching the tube, and I can believe, and I believe I can make a case that this has made us dumber than our ancestors, and by a wide margin. The second great factor in this equation is that there are more of us. The global population is increasing wildly and will continue to do so until something snaps. This means that even if people are not really getting dumber, there are a lot more dumb people around. It's perfectly true that there are more dumb people on the planet at this moment than there ever have been in the past, and these dumb people will soon be procreating. You think I'm being cynical, that I'm being overly harsh. There are plenty of bright people around, you say. Really smart people. Sure there are. Okay. My response would be, let's take a look at them, your bright people. Let's give them time. And if you do, you will see that intelligence is a kind of mask. You will see your really bright people doing things that an obvious oaf would never attempt. Feats of bewildering stupidity. For example, many re really smart people are the ones responsible for the content of TV. It took many smart people to build those nuclear reactors on the geographic fault lines. Many of our leaders are really smart. So don't be fooled. Just because someone is stuffed with brains, that doesn't mean they're not an idiot. Finally, the third of my two points, people will do anything for money. Money makes us do stupid things, and the more money you're talking about, the stupider things will get. In crime shows, they always say, follow the money. If I'm looking for stupid, I bait the hook with money. You might say, who am I to be talking like this? What gives me the right or the authority? Well, if it takes one to know one, then I'm your man. I'm stupid. All my life I've majored in stupidity. I've got postdoctoral degrees in stupidity. A black belt, you name it. If they gave a Nobel Prize for stupidity, I'd win. 
I have suckled on stupidity. I've watched television all my life. I'm stuffed with hundreds of thousands of hours of pure, unadulterated stupidity. And I'm on the muck list, mentally unable to perform. I was driving in my car one day, and I was drinking some coffee, munching on a bagel. I was shaving and talking to someone on my cell phone, multitasking, no sweat, and listening to the radio, when all of a sudden they were playing Sweet Child. So naturally I cranked it up and I was playing air guitar, and right in the middle of that solo, some bozo cut me off and forced me to the shoulder of the road. And I was okay, the airbag didn't even deploy, I didn't spill my coffee, but it turned out that because of all that, I'm suffering from a partially detached right cerebral hemisphere, or, as my doctor said, you pulled a hemi, which causes chronic, unpredictable episodes of stupidity. So there you are. Those are my credentials. What about you? Are people getting dumber? You decide.